All right, y'all, it's tomorrow morning, show. Hey, the time right now is nine minutes after the hour. Gary has a tea and a clue today brought to you by... Remember, you cannot vote unless you are registered. Now, if you need to find more information about how, when, and where to vote, please visit news1.com slash vote. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Friday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Ray Janae Carter, y'all, the beautiful, lovely daughter of Miss Tanya Johnson, and Mr. Um, what's her dad's name? Lil Wayne. And Lil Wayne. Let me stop you. She is speaking out. And you know, Ricky, Wendy Williams talked about her the other day, how much she loved Ray Janae. And I love her dearly, too. Because this young lady made it very clear, y'all. You know, because she's going through a relationship. You know, she recently had a turbulent um, breakup with her um, boyfriend. And mm. she said, y'all, that, quote, she won't, honey, be making anyone famous anymore. Now, she said she's not talking about her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend. She said she's not talking about him. She said, quote, she said, I am not bringing no dudes on the show. She said, honey, I'm not making nobody famous, and I'm not putting nobody on no more. She said that, you know, while she's open to dating, she said she's considering heading to Los Angeles for a fresh start. She said it is hard dating in Atlanta. She said everybody knows everybody. She said I definitely feel like I need to leave and go to L.A. She said that's like probably the only place that I can go. She said because it's hard job to decipher who is real and who is fake. She said all I can say to myself and other people is keep checking your bank account. Unquote. And I agree with her. So and it's Ray Janae? That's Ray Janae, baby. She said that. Because you know what the thing about it is, though? I don't blame her for hunting. Because you know, like the old girls used to say, if you meet a man in hush puppets, don't put on the fur garments on him because he's going to walk out your life in them. And honey, she's just saying that in so many words. It's a, you know, I mean, you know that even, you know, you can't put no, honey, if you meet a man in some ragged shoes, let him stand in them shoes, because when you give him some new ones, honey, he's going to leave you. And she can't said, stand in them oh shoes if he represents you, though, Gary. You can't walk around in no ragged okay. shoes. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not going to put no new ones on your butt for you to there be running all over the place with no other damn woman neither, honey, and no man. Well, when you with somebody, they represent well, Gary, you, so you ain't going to wear no ragged shoes. And if they're going to run around, they're going to run around with old anyway, shoes or new, new shoes. shoes. It don't matter. <laughs> well, I tell you what, he can run around with old and new, but he gonna Running around with the ones he bought, not the one I bought. Man, I bought a, I bought a girl in a wheelchair and shoes, and she got up and walked off. I said, "Man, damn." See, there she was thinking it too. <laughs> so, but I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just something, though. I mean, you know, because I, I yeah, know, I know how she feels and stuff like that. You know, because that's just like a lot of. Me. I knew a couple of famous rich men, and not one. Rick is not one of them. But I know these men, and they huh? make it very clear that there would be one star. Wait, wait, what you say, Gary? Huh? Ricky's not one of what? No, no, not one of those rich, famous men. <laughs> 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 yeah. But you know, honey, I mean, when you start, honey, putting people on and start having them represent you as you say, Fred honey, okay, they gonna cheat on you. I mean, they gonna do stuff to you. Why well, so, that Ricky Gary? <laughs> Ricky not want to what? Those rich and famous, he know he is. <laughs> this, is, this is nothing new. Brad, yeah. don't do Brad. See, I hate you. It's Friday. I hate it's you, man. You, it's Friday. Yeah, you be, but why you got to go on me today? I, I, Brad, I haven't done anything to you. What I just have I miss done you, man. You? I just miss you, man. Uh, what he is, Gary? What you say he was? He's not one of those rich famous men. He been home by himself. So you know he ain't one of them, honey. If he was home by himself, that'd be a different story. But Shut he up. Don't answer her question no more. Uh, <laughs> Don't answer so, my question. I'm just being real petty. <laughs> so, so it's just one of those things. So if y'all don't believe y'all think that, I mean, a person represents you. Well, yeah, but the I thing mean, is, you know, is uh -uh. did you see her other video she put up? Because she put up another video correcting it. Yeah, no, no, I said that she cleared it. Wasn't talking about him. She, yeah, yeah she's not claiming that man fame. She's just saying that she's not going to be so quick to put somebody on TV with her. And that makes sense because she's so young. She's yeah. going to date a few people. And when you end up announcing everybody you date, that's just too many people attributed to your name. And yeah. no one forgets it. So it makes sense she doesn't want to bring them on TV no more. And then they want to be a star, honey. And then before yeah. you know her, they be a star, then they wind up leaving you behind, honey. And so, no, so I'm going to leave you at Jack in the Box, honey, and I'm going to be here. And we, we're going we're gonna to represent that way, honey. <laughs> Not that's Jack how, in the Box. No, nah, that's how that's going to be and represented. And going to be here. Nah, so. okay. Mm -mm. And Christian and um, Chloe Kardashian, y'all, I'm so sick of them, honey. I thought the girl was pregnant. Now she out about she ain't pregnant, but she want to sue, honey. Kimberly Alexander, they said because they want to take legal action because the woman said she was pregnant for him. Can you sue a person because they say they're pregnant for you? I mean, if she been well, with him, honey. if she's not pregnant. 
Well, well but she said she somebody. Would. A lot of people say that about a lot of people when they see a baby bump. Oh, she pregnant. They see a fat woman and they insult her. Girl, you pregnant? You can't. You can't. You sue somebody I know, that's for that. The worst mistake ever. Yeah, that's what Chris, uh, Tristan and Chloe they trying to sue Pope Kimberly Alexander. She made yeah. them take a paternity test, honey, and they said it didn't come out right. But I don't blame her, and I feel like she, you know, they fixed that test. Honey, come so. out right. <laughs> 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 Act like it was a dish. <laughs> <laughs> I had to come hey, Gary, what you say, Ricky ain't? <laughs> He's not one of those very rich and famous men that I was talking about, honey. Uh-uh, child, please. Okay, but what? If he was, Gary, just... <laughs> Brett don't... Brett, uh, Gary, don't let Brett get your butt kicked. Leave oh, yeah, that's right. I need that's... my job. Hey, Gary, uh-uh, you're uh, still a man. I'll fight you, Gary. You're still a man. Oh, baby, and I'll transform and fight you back, too, honey. Oh, baby, I'll transform and fight you back, too, honey. Come on, dance, free clothes. You say spring croaker, then the lunch, you say hot pink. That's your color for the day. Make no error, baby. Oh, they got your wake up call. Get at me, 8669. Ricky, don't pay those haters no attention. 8669. R-I-C-K-E-Y. 1-8669-R-I-C-K-E-Y. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Happy Friday. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, baby.